Welcome to channel Madam Wong. Today we are going to discuss how to solve problem involving distance time graph. Example 8. The incomplete distance time graph shows Mr. Tan's journey from Seremban to Lumut. Mr. Tan stops at Rawang for lunch and a short break before he continues his journey to Lumut. A. If the average speed of Mr. Tan's car from Seremban to Rawang is 62 over 3 km per hour, calculate the distance in km between Seremban and Rawang. As we know, speed equals to distance over time. So, distance equal to speed times time. From the question, the average speed of Mr. Tan's car from Seremban to Rawang is 62 over 3 km per hour. And the time, we can get it from the graph. Here is from Seremban to Rawang. So the time is 1.5 hour. Distance equals 62 over 3 km per hour times 1.5 hour. Distance equals 100 km. B. The distance between Serembang and Lumu is 300 km and Mr. Tan drives at an average speed of 80 km per hour to reach Lumu from Rawang. Complete the given distance time graph to represent Mr. Tan's whole journey. So from the question, total distance is 300 km. And the average speed from Lumu to Rawang is 80 km per hour. Okay, so now we want to find the distance between Rawang and Lumu. So Rawang is here. So just now we already got the distance from Serempan to Rawang is 100 km. So from Rawang to Lumu is 300 minus 100 km equals 200 km. Now we want to find the time used from Lumu to Rawang. So the formula is time equals distance over speed. So distance is 200 kilometers over speed is 80 kilometers per hour. Time equals 2.5 hours. So you can draw the graph like this. From here, you continue 2.5 plus 2.5 is 5 hour. So from this point, 2.5, 100 kilometer, draw a straight line to 300 kilometer. Example 9, the distance time graph shows the journey of two cars between Kuala Lipis and Cameron Highlands. Graph PBQ represents Injemanap's journey together with his family from Cameron Highlands to Kuala Lipis to, to attend his cousin's wedding. Label the information first. This is Graph PBQ. And here is Cameron Highland and to Kuala Lipis. Graph OABC represents the journey of Injet Raven's family from Kuala Lipis to Cameron Highlands for a holiday. A. The rates of change in distance for OA and BC are the same. Calculate the value of T. You learn already the rate of change in distance actually is speed. So means Speed OA equal to speed BC. For speed OA, difference of distance is 65 minus 0. And the time is 52 minus 0. Whereas 
the speed for BC, the different distance is 135 kilometer minus 65 kilometer. And the time is here. T minus 77 minutes. So 65 over 52 equals 70 over t minus 77. So we do the cross multiplication. 65 times t minus 77 equals 70 times 52. 65 times t minus 77 equals 3,640. T minus 77 equal to 3,640 divided by 65. T minus 77 equals 56. T equals 56 plus 77. T equals 133 minutes. B. The average speed of inject Manav's journey is 72 km per hour. Calculate the difference in time in minutes for the two journeys to reach their respective destinations. How we calculate the difference in time? We need to find the time taken by inject Manav from Kuala Lipis to Cameron Highland. As we know, average speed equals total distance over total time. So total time equals total distance over average speed. From the graph, total distance is 135 km. And total speed equals 72 km per hour. So total time equals 135 km per hour. 72 km per hour. The time equals 1.875 hours. But don't forget, the question asks time in minutes. So you need to times 60 to change the time to minutes. So it equals 112.5 minutes. Different in time equals 133 minus 112.5. So difference in time equals 20.5 minutes.